This is our 1970 911E Targa. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car. Following that, there will be a second walk around where I'll show close ups of all the cosmetic blemishes. Then there'll be some video clips of the interior as well as under the hood and the car running. So we are selling this car on consignment on behalf of a local gentleman who has owned it for the last couple of years. Uh, he had purchased the car out of California two years ago with the intention on just driving it as a lakefront cruiser. Uh, but as he lives in the city, ended up just not using the car as much as he had hoped and cannot justify holding on to it. So the car here it is now up for sale. Uh, awesome, fun to drive car. It actually has a 1976 911S drivetrain in it. So it is a a little bit up on power. It's no longer, you know, a 911E electronic fuel injection. Uh, it is carbureted. It's got Weber's on there. Uh, check out the listing for details as to, you know, more mechanical stuff. Uh, but it is powered by a 76 2.7S motor, which actually, you know, is, is quite noticeable in a straight line as compared to, let's say, an older T. Light yellow. Uh, we love the color on the car. This is one of the very few cars that could pull it off. Uh, while we're not positive positive, do believe it's the original color. Uh, car doesn't have a, you know, tag with the color code on it, but there is no signs of any other color inside out underneath, nothing like that. Car currently has the black leather seats with headrests, which are a little bit tired, but again, you'll see the interior a little bit later in this video along with all the blemishes. Body is in really, really nice shape. Uh, totally straight, there's no bubbling or blistering of the paint. Uh, no dents or dings aside from one dent on the underside of the front valence, which again, you'll see in a minute. Uh, weather stripping is all really, really nice, not dry or cracked. Uh, polished surfaces, all the chrome is very, very good. No oxidation or damage there. It's got the right Fuchs alloys on there. panel fitment is good except this uh the nose overhangs like a tiny tiny bit the where the hood matches up to those little gills up front it's just not entirely perfect here are all the blemishes so you'll see the rubber trim on the front bumper doesn't match up too too perfectly there's about a centimeter gap there's a dent there on the underside of the front valence uh, inside the driver's side sugar scoop there is some fading of the black finish in there whereas the passenger side is just a nice black finish Down on the driver door, a couple little chips, nothing too significant. And again, just a close up weather stripping there and the midline trim, you can just tell it's finished very nicely. The cloth on the inside of the Targa hoop is pretty torn up. Uh, there are two Targa tops that will come with the car, one being the original uh, foldable soft one and the other being what we are calling a, a Saratoga top. A, just a firm target top. Rocker trim is really nice and clean. No gashes or anything like that. The glass and light lenses are all clear and crack free. You can see a little bit of aging of the rubber on the bumper overriders. Not really fade, but you know, some cracking. Car is S badged, both on the glove box and the deck lid. You can see the fitment of the uh, passenger door. So the gaps are actually just as they should be, but the hinge could use a look of the passenger door because it just doesn't close all the way. It doesn't sit flush to the body like it should. But the doors do open and close smoothly. You can see a couple chips there. Passenger front fender over the wheel well. Overall, you know, very, very nice driver. Onto the interior. Door panels are free of any kicked open markings or damage. Uh, dash top, you'll see it without the cover in a second. Actually very nice, uh, has one tiny, tiny little hairline crack from the driver's defrost vent corner, very minor. Aside from that, the dash is actually pretty impressive. Odometer is functional, uh, though we cannot tell you if that 81,000 is actual chassis mileage or not. Alpine radio, of course not correct, but it is functional. Uh, AM FM cassette so when we remove the uh, dash cover you can see it's actually quite good just the corner of that driver defrost vent 
Uh, gauges are functional, like I said. Uh, even the analog clock actually is functional. The sills, nice and clean, no damage. The seats, uh, both of them have tears. The driver's is more significant with the big tear in the seat bottom. The material itself is, you know, nice and soft, and uh, the seats aren't blown out at all. They still have, you know, stuffing in them. They still work, um, but, you know, not the prettiest thing in the world. If the car were ours, we'd probably get some GTS Classic sports seats and just drive the car as is. Again, nice clean sills. The chrome seat trim is in really nice shape. Not broken or oxidized. The carpet is fantastic in the interior. Uh, it looks to be close to new. No fraying or discoloring, nothing like that. Car will also come with a set of cocoa mats, except those are old and discolored. Rear area, very, very clean. Underneath the target top. 